the bench and we are going to sit down on the wood chips. And we're going to have a chat before we go down to the compost. I'm sitting here. You sit there. Face me, please. How come you get to not get your butt dirty? Because <laughs> I'm the teacher. Besides, I get dirty all the time. All right. So what are we going to do today? We're Ian. Look in the compost bin and swift it. Swift it. <laughs> sift it. Sift it. One more time. Good job, though. You're close on that one. We are going to sift it. And why are we going to do this? Why are we sifting the compost? So we can get all the big, not um, chopped, well, separated so we can, little pieces. So we can get all the big pieces out of the compost and we can use all that good compost. And what are we going to use that good compost for? Yeah. To feed the plants. To feed the plants. Okay, before we go down there, um, we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to be looking for all these compost critters while we're out there. What do these guys do? Why are they in our compost? Kian. Um, why are, because they help the plants um, live and grow. They do, but what do they do in the compost? Do they help plants live and grow in the compost? No. No, what do they do in the compost, Amalia? Um, they break the food into little pieces. They break the food into little pieces. Why do they do that? Because something has to eat them last. What eats them last and poops out that good soil, Zoe? The worms. The worms. And do worms have teeth? Willie, do worms have teeth? No. No, they don't. Good job. So they need to have all that food mushed up for them before they, um, before they can eat it and poop it out and give us that good soil. So we're, I'm going to put this on a clipboard and we're going to have a pencil. We're going to take turns seeing what we can find in our soil. So we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be taking turns. Everybody's going to get a chance to hold this. Everybody's going to get a chance to sift. And I'm going to show you the proper way of using the shovel before we use it because you're going to be using it kind of up high. We're not going to be digging down low. The compost is kind of high. So we're going to have to be careful where we are with our bodies because the shovel is sharp and we don't want anybody to get hit with the shovel or hurt with the shovel. We have two tools in the compost right now. What's this? Ian? Pitchfork. A pitchfork. What's this? Willie, you just carried it. What's this? Shovel. A shovel. Both of them, hold on a second, both of them are very sharp. They're made of metal, okay? You got sharp, you got a point on the shovel. So you are digging higher, like I said, than you normally would be. But um, this is what I want you to be really careful of. When you bring this around, and we're probably going to use the shovel, not so much the pitch, pitchfork, you kind of have it up high. So if someone, come here, Willie, let me use an example. If Willie's standing right here, what could happen to Willie? What could happen to Willie if you weren't watch? If you were like this, and then you spun around like that, what could happen to Willie? What could happen, Xander? He'll get hit. He could get hit. So that's why we need to be very careful of where we are today. Can I do that? So do one shovel pull and put it in the sifter, Ian. And then please, hey, Ken. Hold on a second. Step back. I see the worm. A centipede. There's a centipede Okay. Ian, can you give the shovel to Indira? Watch out. Perfect. Indira, put one shovel full in the sifter. I think we might have to get a separate wheelbarrow. Can you get a little bit more than that? Willie, can I have you step up and move back just a minute? I think we're going to have to get a second wheelbarrow. Um, so we have room. Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, Indira, go ahead and put the shovel back in the composter. All right, now come down this way. Okay, hold on a second. We're not circling anything yet. You've got to sift. Wait, Willie, you got to sift. You've got to sift. Come on over here. Grab a hold of the sifter. Once you put your shovelfuls in there, you guys, you then have to sift. I know. Sift and you'll see what else comes through. So hold it by the ends. Well, you got to lift it up. And then you got to figure out how to work together to make the soil go back and forth to get it all through there. There you go. Oh, good job. This and go dump that stuff in that compost over there. Thank you. Oh, it's a red worm. Can you get it in there? Good job. We've been seeing Go figure out what that is. So, where's the she in? Indira has something in her hand. See if it's on the sheet. Stop. Millipede. Yeah. Good job. Who found that? Who figured out what that? Good job, Ian. Ooh, we don't have a slug yet? I found a worm cocoon, I think. Yep. That's a worm cocoon. All right. Yep. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> what are you doing over there with the clipboard? What are you doing? Look at what stuff we had circled. What is that? Look at what stuff we had circled. Is that the stuff you found? Yeah. Worm cocoon. I found one. Wait, you found a worm cocoon? Wait, put it in here. Let's find. Let's see how many. See it. Let's make a. Let's make a mess. You found more worm cocoons. You did. Yeah, two. Worm cocoon. Put them in Ian's. All oh, slimy. I know. I'm too. I'm like. My I have bigger one oh, than that. I just nail oh, on my hand. Yeah. Look at that, you guys rock. You have so much soil in there. That's a great technique. Okay, sniff the sail. Sniff the sail. I want to get someone named Linda. Xander wants to. Can you put him over there so Xander can sniff him? <laughs> you guys are good. You know what I do want you to do? I do want you to take some soil and sniff it. Can you take some soil and sniff it? Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Smell that hole. Can you smell that, Zoe? Where should I put this? Here, let's put him in here. What's a mite? Stick him in there. What's a mite? That's good. Not even a nutrition. Grab a handful and smell that. It smells so beautiful. It smells really good. Doesn't it smell you? See those two snails right there on the side? What do you think they're doing? I don't see any. No, they're not eating. That's a good guess, though, Miss Zoe. They're not trying to climb back in. Hey, Ian, can you move your head back? They're mating. They're mating, yeah. I was going to pick them up, but I'm not going to do that because they're mating. They're mating and they're making what? Baby. Baby snails. Uh, what bacteria are? Back to, look at what it shows you on here. Does it show you one thing in that circle? No. What does it show you? Bunch of different things. Bunch of different things. And why is that in a circle? All around us. Why is that in a circle and nothing else is in a circle? It's because it's Hey, so Willie, Indira. Why, Holt? It's so small you can't really see it. They're so small that you can't see them. So they're showing you this to show that you really have to have probably a um, microscope, not even a magnifying glass, but a microscope to see these guys because they are so small. Yeah. But they do a lot of the work in the compost before even anything else does. That snail is so huge. So should we just yeah. exit out? You should not exit out. You should circle it because they're all in there. You just can't see them. I found a white worm. A white worm. What is that? White worm. Yep. White worm. Who wants to sift? I did. Okay. Zoe and Xander will sift next. Hold the paper. Me. Put your hands behind your back. Indira. Mrs. Mrs. Um, Jane, do you think? Okay, Raquel. Hold on just a second. You guys, there's a lot of questions happening right now. Ian and Willie. Willie. Be with a group, please. This is where you need to be right now, over here with me. Ian. Okay, Ian's asking questions. Raquel's asking. I can't answer all the questions when you're all speaking at one time. Okay, it's just too much. I moved that wheelbarrow over there so that you guys who are not sifting, Ian, for those of you who are not sifting, you may go and still check out what's in that wheelbarrow, okay? Because, but wait, wait, wait. Everybody come back. Come back. If you have not had a chance to sift, listen for your name. You will all get a chance to sift. All right? I won't leave any of you out. Everybody would also get a chance to hold the clipboard and make marks on it. And if you find something that's not on there, you can ask me how to spell it and we'll write it on there. Okay? okay so, so we're going to take both our hands. Show me scoopy hands. I want to see some scoops. Okay. You're going to just take, don't take a whole bunch that's going to spill all over the place because this stuff is like gold. Okay? <laughs> but let's grab a handful. Willie, go on in there and grab a handful, bud. I'm off. So, what do we want to feed? What do we want to feed? What do you want to feed, Ian? I want to feed our bed. In your bed? Yeah. All right, let's go feed the plants in your bed. Uh, there's a worm. There's something behind my hand. Where do you think it's going to be the best for your plants to have it? Down. down, right around the base of the plant like this. Right around the bottom. Just like that. There you go. Okay. All right. Pick one, Xander. 
Maybe you'll do a Ooh, thing. we have a purple carrot. All right. Do it after Zoe. Yeah. Ooh, would, another I purple was, carrot. Was, yeah. Um, Which yeah, one would you like, Ian? Yes. I was, I was <laughs> Maybe if you stand up there. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Can I get a, I got a purple one? Ooh, oh. another purple one. I can't. Wow. <laughs> so can I pick one? A different one. Wow. Look at the size of that carrot in there. Can I pick you? Oh, it's a candy. Can you eat the green part? Is it bitter? Yeah. Yellow. I already ate it. Oh, you ate mm. the green one. Mm. Yeah, this is what the inside looks like no, of a purple carrot. Does it taste like a carrot? A lot. Yeah. yeah. See? There's butter carrot. What are we going to do with the tops of your carrots? Throw them away in the compost. Wow. I'm feeling a little tired. That was all kind of crazy. There was a lot going on in the last 45 minutes. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What did you find when you were <laughs> sifting through the compost? Worm what cocoons? did you find? What? Worm cocoons. Worm cocoons. You saw. Um, big roly-poly daddies. Big roly-poly daddies. Raquel, what did you see? I saw the most coolest thing in the world. I saw a little worm was doing hip hop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you're just no. getting silly. No. Oh, a hip hop worm. No. We have some hip hop worms. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> oh, well, I know the worm you're talking about. Oh, yeah. A humongous snail. A humongous this snail. Is... We had a big snail. A millipede. A millipede. Why do we put things in the compost? So they can decompose. So they can decompose. What then do we do with that decomposed stuff? What do we do with it? Feed it to the plants. Feed it to the plants. If we didn't have compost piles, where would we put that stuff? In the trash. In the trash. So not only are you guys feeding worms, which then you get to give this great stuff to the plants, <laughs> you're keeping all this stuff out of the landfill. It's a great thing, all those things together. And then you get to do, what did we do at the very end? Willie, what did we do at the very end? What did we pull out of the ground and eat? Carrot. Carrots. We pulled and ate carrots. And guess what we fertilized those carrots with? Uh, compost. Compost. So you guys, you ate a carrot that grew from compost from your compost bin. Um, can How you cool is that? About the, the you can tell her all about it when you get back to class. And we are done now. I want to give you guys a handout to take home, okay? I'm going to give you that compost one that you can have for your very own, and then it's time to go. Okay? Here you go. Go find Mrs. Howes when I give you a sheet. In Dara.